Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and I wanted to share with you a cool new feature that has launched on Application Load Balancer as of this week. Uh, so if you aren't familiar with ALB versus uh, classic load balancers, ALB have really uh, cool routing capabilities so that you have more reusability with your load balancers so you save a lot of money. And so the previous rules that we had was path, uh, path names and host names. So host names being subdomains and path names being uh, the, uh, how the URL looks. And so now with five new conditions, we get more reusability, more flexibility, and new cool ideas on how we can use ALB. And I wanna uh, show you three examples of uh, things that you might wanna try out uh, with these new advanced requests routing. So let's go look at our first example, which is query string. So let's say you have a website mm, called Exam Pro, and you have a signup page, and you wanna show a different variation of that signup page uh, by sharing out this link with different people so you can test which one's better. So here I have version A and I send that link out to some people and when they hit that link, it's gonna to go to the A test servers and when, I, when we have version B, it's gonna to go to the B test servers. So it's as simple as setting a rule down here, query string version A forwards to the target group of A tests of so those servers. You'd have to make an additional rule for the B so that'd be a totally separate rule. It says B goes to the B server. So that's query string, good way to do A to B testing. Let's look at source IP. So a source IP is where is the traffic coming from based on IP. And so let's say that we have internal traffic, let's say we have a VPC and we have this ALB running into it and we have traffic within our VPC accessing it, other services. And we also have a public IP address. We can say this is our home address which is a single address that's coming in, uh, that's hitting that ALB. And so if we have our own home address, we wanna go to the secret hideout server because it's a so much cooler server to access and everyone within the VPC, it's for boring work and we want to go to the work server. So it's as simple as saying the source IP uh, and here we set the, uh, the uh, CIDR block range for this one here and it's gonna to go to our staging target group, which is for work server. And if we wanted to do it for this one, we would obviously do the same process, right? Take this, put it here, and have the target group for the secret hideout server. Let's look at one more example. Let's look at, at cookies, because cookies is a, uh, a popular utility when we're talking about headers. So here I have a cool web service um, that grants VIP access if you have this a special code set to your uh, VI, uh, VIP in your cookie. And so here I look for a header called cookie and if it has VIP with this code, it's gonna go to the VIP server. And if that cookie is not even present, it's gonna go to the regular mortal server. So there's, those are three cool examples on using advanced request uh, routing with ALB. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, and yeah, I'll try to do more of these uh, cool uh, feature videos only when I think that there's a cool uh, feature that's worth talking about. So thanks for watching.